this lesson, we're going to cover how to create VBA code in Excel that will allow you to delete duplicate values in a set of data. So you can see here we have loan payment history for some loan holders. And in this first column, A, we have loan ID number. And you can see here we obviously have duplicate values in this data set. So the first thing we want to do is hit the keyboard shortcut Alt F11 to go into the VBA editor window anywhere in this project window, right click, go to insert and module. I'm going to come down here in the properties window, rename this delete duplicates. Up here, I'm going to begin our subroutine with the keyword sub, paste in our module name, hit enter and then we can begin our code. So just to kind of give you a high level summary of what we're gonna do here, first thing we wanna do is sort this data set based on the loan ID number as our sort range because we want to run a loop in VBA that will look at each row containing the loan ID and compare it to the row above it and if there is a match, we wanna delete the active row because after we sort this data, it should be sorted by loan ID and duplicates will be one right after the other. So it's very important to sort your data first. So since we're sorting, we need to declare a couple of range object variables. So I'm gonna begin with the keyword dim to declare our first range object. We're just gonna call it RNG for range and that's of the object type range. So I'm gonna copy this because we have a second range object. We're gonna call this S range for our sort range. And since these are object variables, we need to set them with the keyword set. So our first range is just gonna be this entire data set here of all the cells that are not blank. So we want to reference that range. So we're gonna begin in cell A1 for the top corner of our range reference. The bottom corner, we're gonna begin at cell A1, but then end Excel down and then end Excel to the right because we wanna go down to the last non-blank cell in column A and then to the right to the last non-blank column. So the next range we need to set is our sort range and that is gonna be almost identical minus going to the right because we only wanna sort on column A. So I'm just gonna copy this section here and we're gonna set our sort range. So now we're going to reference our data set range object that we created and input the keyword sort. And after we do that and hit space, you can see there are inputs for the sort option. The first one is the key one, what we want to sort on. So our key one is going to equal the sort range object variable we just created because we want to sort on anything that contains data in column A, which is what we created up here. The next input we, we want to reference is the order that that needs to be sorted in. That's going to be ascending. And finally, we want to state whether or not there are headers. There are, so we're going to select yes. So what this code does here is it sorts our data set by the loan ID number. So now what we want to do is create a reverse loop that begins at the last row of this newly sorted data set and compares each cell in column A, the loan ID number, to the cell above it. And if there's a match, it deletes that active row. 
So the first thing we need to do is declare another variable. We need to know what the last row is going to be. And that's going to be as the data type long. Last row is going to be equal to, we're going to input the cells reference that has a row index and a column index. For the row index, we're going to state rows and then count. So what that does is that returns the last row number on our spreadsheet at the very bottom, the last row that is available, regardless of whether or not there is data. Our column index is going to be column 1, which is column A. So this takes us to the last possible cell on our spreadsheet. From there, we want to end Excel up because that's the equivalent of hitting control up arrow and that will take us up to the last cell in column A that contains data. From there, we want to input row, which will return the row number of that last cell containing data. So that gives us our last row. So now we need one final variable. We're just gonna call it X and that's also gonna be as the data type long because that is going to be our loop variable counter. So we're going to begin with the for loop. So for each count in our counter, we want that to be equal to, or should I say begin at the last row variable that we just created, go up to the top row containing data, which will be row two. And since we're doing reverse order, we want to step minus one because we want to start at the bottom and work our way to the top. So here we're going to begin with the if statement. We're going to use the cells reference again. This time we're going to insert our variable counter as our row index. Our column index is going to be column one or column A. So if cells beginning in our variable counter, which should start at the last row, is equal to our variable minus one, which will return the cell above it in column A. Then for that row, the active row, we want to delete it. Finally, we want to end our if and move on to the next gyration in our counter. So now what I will do is F8 through this so that you can see how this works. We'll execute one line at a time. We could also hit the play button and just run the whole thing at once, but I think you'll see how this works a little better if we just do this one one line at a time. So I'm going to F8 through this. So once I hit F8 here, we should see our data set get sorted by the loan ID number. So now we have our loop to begin. Currently our variable is set to zero, but now it is set to row 22. So you can see now that deleted the first set of duplicates and now it's going to move on and I'll go through this a little faster now and you can see as we run through this loop it is one by one deleting all the duplicate values in our data set. So that is how you can create VBA code in Excel to remove duplicate values. Hey, if you like what you saw today, please subscribe to the Excel Cave. Thanks for watching.